welcome to an exclusive backstage behind the scenes look at the Autosport live action arena show where Aerocatch secured me the opportunity to latch onto Bagsy and Friends and lift the lid. Wow on just what it takes to put on one of the biggest automotive spectacles in car show business. Join me as I'm welcomed into the family. Yeah, don't, don't push that either. Mind your back, Matt. Mind your back. You're Matt, you're gonna get run over. Yeah. Matt, just don't touch the car, mate. To witness this stunning professionalism. Clutch is the left foot, Gav. And genuine camaraderie. Ask me on Sunday if I've killed him yet or not. Just. It just is terrible. As the Monster Energy Order of Drift turn things up a notch. What are you about to do? Two and a half million pounds worth of car that Terry's going to jump over. It's bloody terrifying. <laughs> I leave no stone unturned. Corbin. He's not even going to look at me. Corbin. Corbin. It's about time you left, isn't it? And one way or another, I'm going to capture a full day, getting you closer than ever before to Bagsy. So, you know how you won't let me film you in bed? <laughs> and you ask for yourself why? <laughs> So, Bagsy. Bagsy. Sorry, I didn't realise you were ready. Yeah, no, sorry. So you're ready now, are you? Yeah. Oh, all right. So we, we can wait if you're not ready. We can wait. That's fine. We'll just wait. Auto Sport. Is that a good way to kick off the year? It's a lot of work. Is it? Yeah. You're just standing around doing just, nothing. Yeah, I know. Just stand around and then go and have a little skid about. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we was here since Wednesday. It's like, yeah, yeah, practice. Terry Grant, aka Granddad, has been cracking the whip with me and Bagsy. Is Terry us... Grant like the ringmaster of the show? He likes to think he is. <laughs> yep. You're the master at putting on these shows. Is it a good one this year? Yeah, I quite like it. Quite pleased. I think it's got a good flow. Yeah. Looking at it, and, and everyone's performing exactly as I saw in my head. So that's really good. Right he's getting old and forgetful, so we have to remind him what he's doing. Right, I'm ready. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Hang on. No? What do you reckon to Bagsy? Bagsy, complete yeah. He, yeah. he can't drive for He's a pain in your Just, he, just he's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. I'd rather be in with a Uber driver who's been driving for three weeks than, than get anywhere near Bagsy. He's absolutely useless. What's it like working with Bagsy? Is it like a friendly rivalry or what's the dynamic between between you two like? Used to be a pain in the Really? Yeah, used to be. And now, yeah, I like it. It's good. It's right. really good. Like, I, you know, have the utmost respect for what he does. Yeah. And I'd like to say he has respect for me for what I do. You'd do you like I mean? to say that? I'd like to say it. <laughs> So having got to know Bagsy through the eyes of his teammates, I thought I'd break the ice with a gesture. I mean, you work very hard and it takes its toll. So what we thought we'd do is we'd bring you a care package for the, for the weekend. Um, no expense spared. Thanks, mate. Um, I like gifts. We've got you some stuff just, just, to, just to get you through, basically. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I haven't had one of these in years. I love pot noodles. Chicken and mushroom is my favourite as well. Thanks, mate. Yeah. I'll be into that. So you got something to eat. That's yeah, got good. something to eat. Cool. Oh, farm machinery. 
Look, tractors. Love a tractor. We had a big old uh, tractor from uh, John Deere in my latest uh, video, Return to Driftenburg. Some aero catches. Thing is, you don't necessarily need them because you've probably got a lot of aero catches, but maybe somebody deserves a gift. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to give these away tomorrow. Yeah, to that would be nice. Maybe I could even find somebody in here. What is this? <laughs> what is this? How does it work? A tennis ball. Well, it's, that's to purpose. To be fair, at Christmas, I, I got a dog. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I got a little Rosie at home now. Well, just as we're getting somewhere, Terry realises the show isn't mental enough for his liking. So, calls the guys in for an emergency last-minute rehearsal. I don't think we need to go on for a rehearse, parking the cars up. Generally, when you park your car in Tesco's car park, it's exactly the same. Terry explains the new finale and gets the team to rehearse parking up, like they do in Tesco car park. And then it's time for a few words of encouragement. A couple of minutes, please. We haven't got time. Right, so the moment, so then I've jumped, okay? I've jumped, I've gone down there, I've skidded. So it's uh, Friday lunchtime. We are tweaking the show slightly before Saturday and Sunday. Me and Luke are coming out now with some of Terry's cars. And uh, we've agreed to let Terry jump our cars, which uh, is yet to be seen. But we're all quite confident this is going to go according to plan. Well, things were getting exciting. And to be honest, it was kind of hard to keep up. But after a while, I found myself able to tune in and really envision Terry's turbocharged climax through the eyes of its inventors. He flies off this thing with some speed and he lands like 80 odd foot over there. We're parked just down here. It's uh, it's fairly high up here actually. There's a lot of seats out there, a lot of people. So as you come in through that first corner, it's like you look into the crowd for a second, you're like, oh god, I hope this goes well. Now time to head backstage. First show's coming up very soon. Wish me luck. So after days of planning and practice with literally hundreds of vehicles and an all new turbocharged finale, it's time to go to work. It's super! of truth, it's finale time. The crowd can't believe what's happening. Terry's having second thoughts and our guys can only sit and await their fate. Lee, it's 2 p.m. time for some lunch. Do you want a sandwich? Yeah, man. With the adrenaline of show one coursing through their veins, tensions in the team are running high. Why is somebody eating, right? Someone's eaten all the good sandwiches out of all three boxes and left this lot. Wooden. Blame Woodham. Woodham? Wow. Why have you eaten all the good sandwiches and left all the horrible ones. Well look, out of every, look, out of every box, this I section... One. Out of every box, that's it. Someone's been eating my Percy pigs. Oh, yeah, them. Let's have one of them. 
Who? Sensing the hostility in the air, Terry decides to make amends. I am really, really, really sorry if anyone got offended in my last story. All right, I really <laughs> did not mean to upset any Uber drivers. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> Your ram jump that ram. With this? And the ram. Uh, While well, somebody right. jumps your ram going over that me? ram. How much are you gonna pay me? You can do it. Can I just get this? You know where that's from, don't you? What's that from? Sparko Centre. <laughs> you never guess what? what? They measure tractors instead of mi in like instead of in mileage, they measure them in hours they've run. Yeah. I never knew that. With the afternoon drawing on, I thought I'd seal the deal with Bagsy and try and give him the rest of the gifts. Toy car. It's not as nice as the last uh, toy GTR car that you gave me. Oh, oh wow. To have this. <laughs> That's <laughs> mega. Unfortunately, I can't show you the last thing that's in this bag because I'd be breaking a contract. Thank you very much for trying to stitch me up with that one, but... Uh, Let's just say Matt tried to be funny. Just as we were finally bonding over a hilarious private joke... Where's Bagley? There's an issue with the GTR. And to make matters worse, the next show is starting. The team scramble to identify the source of a leak under the car, while the show's directors pile on the pressure. With the performance well underway, News of the breakage reaches Camp Terry. With the crew still stemming the flow, Luke is forced to fly solo. And worst of all, this could spell disaster for Terry's finale. While Luke does the work of two cars, Corbin does the work of ten mechanics. With just minutes to go, Terry's crew carry out final checks while Bagsy anxiously suits up in earnest. And then Corbin gives the signal. He's done it! And with no time to spare, it's finale time! And it was indeed the greatest finale of the entire event. One you'd have to see to believe. He's done. It's been fun though, I kind of mixed emotions, you know, it's been fun to be back here at Oris Ball, uh, in the live action arena, you know, looking forward to maybe doing it again sometime and... Uh... It didn't yeah. rain, so they weren't needed. No, they weren't, but you know, they look good. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting about Gav? What? Nothing. Thanks for everything, Bugsy. I'll arrow catch you later. He hasn't even got an iPhone, let alone an Uber account. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the phones that goes around. <laughs> 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 How's it go? <laughs> Get all right amongst them. <laughs>